Hello and welcome Sagittarians. This is your July 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Sagittarius, what we will do here, we will divide the reading in areas or sections so it's a bit easier to follow. So we will look at the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio, sorry, for the sign of Sagittarius, where, 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 what am I like, for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of July 2023, before we then move on to your emotional core. Your emotional core is about, you know, whether or not there's love coming in, whether there's, there's healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff, before we then finally move on to um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of July 2023. Before we do all of this, I urge you to watch this month's um, full moon reading that you can also find on this channel because we have the second of four super moons, uh, which means the, the moon is closer to Earth, therefore appears larger, therefore your emotions are a bit more affected by all the things um, that are happening. Um, it makes sense, therefore, to be clued in, right? So, with no further ado, Sagittarians, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of July 2023 for your very sign. And you're super protected this month. <laughs> you have the caribou and you have all animal deities, which means all animal guides uh, are around you. Which means that if, you, if you're looking for strength, you got it. So, when you have the caribou, the caribou is just a, um, a fancy term for reindeer, really. <clears throat> but the caribou has a split hoof. So, as your life gets difficult, you won't sink in. So, the overall energy for Sagittarius is therefore to understand that whatever life presents to you this month, whatever difficulties are coming your way, you are more than capable of dealing with them. So should you have thoughts like, oh, how am I going to do this? That's what does you in, right? Understand, do your worst, I'm ready for you. It's the energy that you need to, to really have because you will just be fine. Really, really important. Um, and that's all we have here for your um, overall energy because obviously um, in July you can therefore uh, expect maybe more difficult things to come your way or at least things that you really should look at will be put to you which is important um, again it probably makes sense uh, for you to um, find out where in your star chart in your birth chart your ascendant sits which is your, your sort of your rising sign um, that sort of comes to me here quite strongly um, have a look where your ascendant sits and see what the energies of that sign are because that strength that the other sign that the ascendance is in can give you will also aid you right and if you if you don't know any of these things but you would like to know um, i do astrology reports um, and they are 30 pounds as a pdf or 50 pounds when they come into a folder sent to you first class within mainland uk or second class worldwide didn't say this just to plug it, but because the Ascendant comes up here, um, makes sense to let you know that I do indeed write astrology reports for a living. So get in touch if you want one. And now we're looking at your emotional core for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of July 2023. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. Okay, speaking of sharing... <laughs> In your emotional core, you have the barn owl and you have the turtle. The barn owl is saying, here's my barn, here's my space. I do not share it with anybody and I only share it with those I deem worthy. The point the guides are making is, you will find that in July, you need a lot of time on your own, to yourself, and you are not in a space where you should look after needy people, where you should allow people to be demanding at all this month, it just will tire you and drain you, not working. And the turtle is saying that you should also move about slower. 
right? Maybe you are a person that, that, that feels stressed because there's just too much going on. So therefore the turtle is saying like, you can do everything and anything a bit slower. What's the worst that can happen? You see what I mean? And so that is for your emotional core. So when you then look at how you're truly feeling, right? What am I going through? Where am I in my love life? Where am I in dealing with mm, stale energies, old trauma, right? You will look at them as long as you don't think they're the worst thing that ever happened to anybody on the bloody planet, right? So um, that's important to not sound a bit harsh, but you know, having gone through a lot of pain is one thing. Allowing yourself to become the victim of that energy makes it much harder for it to be released and helped. So watch how you talk about stuff, right? Um, that's really, really important and do things slower. So this is not the time where you should rush anything, right? And if you have to let someone go, let them go kindly and gently, okay? So. Now, Sagittarians, we're looking at the uh, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July. And already the energy of July is not a, an energy of, of um, yeah, let's do a lot. So um, what you will find is that opportunities with regards to what sustains you financially will be a bit um, scarce, a bit less forthcoming this month. Not the end of the world. It's just good to know, you know, that's maybe not the month where you where you plan your entire life um, with regards to getting a new job. And if you, should you get a new job this month, um, you can still understand, you know, they have to train me first. You know, I have to first get used to everyone and everything. You know, that so don't, don't go in there uh, guns blazing and, and see you can take over the thing in five minutes. It doesn't really work. Ultimately, you have to grow in the links. So the crow is saying it's time to reflect on how happy are you with what you're doing that sustains you, right? And understand that only when you see the magic in it, only when you feel like this is really amazing what I'm doing, you know, I really have the best job in the world, I'm doing the best things in the world. If that is not happening, you're not in the right place. So the crow is saying to you, reflect so that you can manifest and make changes with regards to what it is you want to do that sustains you. If that makes sense. And they have the links. Big cat here, the links. Um, and that means you need a vantage point. So you're not asked to do a lot this month with opportunities. You're just asked to understand, maybe I should reflect how happy am I in the scheme of things and then look at a vantage point or from a vantage point rather, you know, what needs to change for me to actually make that happen? and then plan accordingly, right? So Sagittarius, this was your uh, July 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Like I said, please like, subscribe and share. And if you, hey, if you want to leave a comment, you can, right? So that's all uh, very much appreciated. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.